Agriculture Minister Zulfika Mustafa has added his voice in praising the efforts of East Bank Burbese farmer and beekeeper Devon Gillard, who has been successfully cultivating several varieties of grapes at his home. The farmer has been utilizing the space in his backyard to cultivate the grapes and has been wildly successful in realizing several sweet harvests of his grapes. His efforts were recently revealed to President Dr. Irfan Ali, who in addition to praising his innovation and commitment to realizing his passion, allocated some seven acres of prime agricultural land on the east bank of Berbice for an expansion of his efforts. During his visit to the farm Saturday, Minister Mustafa was shown the fruits of Mr. Gillard's passion and commitment in cultivating a crop of exotic fruit despite being told that the high-valued fruit would not grow here. In comments during his visit, the agriculture minister said the success of the farmer in pursuing the cultivation of an exotic crop is testimony to what is possible when one sets out to be pioneering, thinking outside of the box of what is traditional, taking a chance and doing what no one else thought was possible. Minister Mustafa posited that his ministry through the National Agricultural Research and Extension Institute, NARI, will be working closely with Mr. Gillad in expanding his grape farm on an initial two acres, which is part of the seven acres granted him by government. I think this is very, very good for us as a country because this is the first time we are seeing the success of this crop here in this amount. Um, probably before people would have um, planted it and in a very, very small scale and they would have re um, have some successes but I think this is August well for us because as our country now is diversifying we are consolidating and the crops that we have been producing over the years the traditional crops and what we have been doing going to new crops diversifying into new crops and if you look now for the short time we have started corn and soya we have started broccoli cauliflower and carrots um, now we have started the trial for wheat because of the demand for wheat in our country and the shortfall that might have we might have this year because of the war in Ukraine and Russia. They are combined together, the, the two countries, they are producing close to about 30% of the world production in wheat. So as a country, we are always on the go to look at new ways of doing things. And here today, I want to commend Mr. Gillard because he has used his experience, he has used his initiative, and I will ask Nari to work very closely with him to give him all the support that he needed and other farmers who want to come on board also. We will work together with them. According to Minister Mustafa, Guyana is now looking to bring online a variety of new crops so as to mitigate against the impact of global shortages that loom on the horizon due to a number of factors. So generally now in the agriculture sector we are seeing a lot of new crops coming on stream. As I mentioned a few just now, we have also started the, um, the, the production of cut flower, the rose, cut flower roses, and that has been very, very successful too. Um, in another two weeks from now, we'll set up a greenhouse at Manripo there, we will produce, um, we'll have the young people and Nari to produce to sell commercially in Guyana. So I think that that augurs well for us in the agriculture sector. We are not only looking at one sector as an island gas producing country, as the Vice President would have said in his outreaches across the country that we are not only relying on one sector, but what we are doing use the revenue from the oil and gas sector to develop the other sectors, to diversify the other sectors and make it more resilient and more robust. And I think that we as a, a country, we have a great role to play for food security, not only for Guyanese, but for food security in the Caribbean. Because next month, from the 19th to the 21st, we will have the first Investment Forum and Exhibition in Guyana, CARICOM, Regional Investment Forum and Exhibition. This came about because of His Excellency presentation to the 33rd Heads of Government meeting in Belize. And he has not only um, highlighted the problems, but what he, had, he did, he advanced solutions to the problems. And that is why we'll be having this Investment Forum in Guyana. I hope to take um, Mr. Gillard there to also share his experience with farmers, with investors around the Caribbean and around Guyana, and we'll also be having international investors coming to that forum. So I want to com com compliment you, I want to commend you. I hope you'll take up the, the, the land that we gave you shortly, and we'll work with you to develop 
develop this um, production of grape, apple, kiwi and other crops that you will be planting, you will have the full support of the government. And we will work with all the farmers in our country to develop the agriculture sector. In addition to his current accolade as the first farmer to conduct significant sized trials of several varieties of grapes, Mr. Gillard is also known as a beekeeper and has also established a line of products utilizing honey and its byproducts. This aspect of his operations is handled by his wife. Minister Mustafa toured the small showroom where he viewed the many products available, such as soaps, body lotions, candles, etc. Based on the quality of packaging and the range of products on offer, the agriculture minister extended an invitation to Mr. Gilad and his wife to take up a booth at the upcoming Agriculture Investment Conference and Expo to be held at the Arthur Chung Convention Center later this month. The agriculture minister also took the opportunity of engaging with residents and farmers of the Glasgow News Scheme who were assured of immediate help in addressing some of the issues affecting them. A team of engineers and other technical staff from the Ministry of Agriculture will be returning to the community in the new week to assess the work that has been requested with a view to having those issues resolved.